Hi, I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. It's June, so I've been to my local street market and bought myself some flowers. I've got some beautiful little pom-pom dahlias and some peonies as well. I'm going to share a handy tip about these peonies, but more about that later. So when you're buying flowers, you need to put them in water as soon as you possibly can. These flowers have come from my local street market. They're a tiny bit bashed in my shopping basket on the way home. And what I need to do is my pair of scissors is take away the elastic band at the bottom and then recut each of the stems so I can ensure that it's going to take up water properly. So what I'll do is take off the lower leaves, cut the stem at an angle and put it in a vase of water. So I want to make sure that any leaves that are going to be inside my vase and in the water are taken off so they don't start to go yucky. And you'll see here that the stem is really dry and that's not going to take up water at all. So I use my scissors as a sharp angle that re reveals all the juicy flesh. And it also stands up on tiptoes so the flowers will take up water. I'm not arranging them in any special way. I'm doing a bit of a cut and a plonk because my key thing is to make sure the flowers rehydrate oh, before I use them. And I've just seen, I've lost a head here, and this head is just falling over. What I might do is cut that really short and have it in a tiny saucer of water on my kitchen windowsill. I've got another stem here that's lost its head, so I shall clip that out, recut the stem, and then have the flower on its own. And my peonies are looking absolutely beautiful. Some of them are part open, but some of them are in quite tight bud. I'm going to find the flowers with the tightest bud and wrap them back up out of water and keep them somewhere really cool so I can enjoy the first flush of the peonies, the ones that are really just about to open. And in a few days time, I can replace these with the ones that are kept cool and out of water and do exactly the same thing as I did with my dahlias. Recutting the stems and putting them very casually into my vase. I'm not arranging them at this stage. I'm just giving them a good old drink. Then I'll go off and have a cup of tea and then I can get on with my actual styling of my flowers a little bit later on. So with the flowers I've decided to save and keep in the cool, I'll reuse my wrapping that the flowers came in and I'll keep those somewhere cool. I hope you have lots of fun enjoying this summer season with the dahlias and the peas.